Hello, iScan users. Welcome to our channel. I'm Sarah Pan. In this salon, I'll show you the process of customizing an insole, which is very common in many fields. It's an interesting process, and after watching today's video, I'm sure you can see how useful a 3D scanner can be for customizing insoles. The 3D scanner we use in this process is iScan Pro HD, which is available in handheld rapid mode, handheld HD mode, fixed mode with turntable, and fixed mode without turntable. So when scanning objects of different sizes, you can always find an appropriate mode with iScan Pro HD. First, we let a colleague put her foot down in the foam so that we get a piece of foam with a footprint. Then, we use iScan Pro HD to scan the foam to obtain the footprint data. Since the foam is small and rich in feature, we choose handheld HD scanning mode with an accuracy on 0.045 mm together with feature alignment to capture the shape of the foot precisely. Now that the data acquisition has been completed, we import scanning data into Geomagic Essentials. Now that the data acquisition has been completed, we open the STL file in Geomagic Essentials. Firstly, make sure the unit is in millimeters and quick fix the mesh with the mesh doctor. Then we fill all the holes with fill all function. We choose to deselect the largest one. And fit the top plane to trim off the useless data. Next, we use Remesh and Quick Smooth tool as well to improve the surface smoothness and reduce the data size. Roughly align the data to the world coordinate system with the top plane. Finally, we adjust the view and using object mover to position the full data precisely. The work in Geomagic is all done. Is it easy? The next software we will use is Solid Edge. We should double check the units before open the cleaned mesh data as a part. Then we import an insole pattern picture, adjust the pattern size, and align it with the foot data. Here we need to be a little more careful flipping to suit left or right foot, and dragging to move the pattern. Next, we create the base plane of the foot pad, then draw the basic shape along the edge of the insole pattern. This process takes a little long time. We should be patient. Otherwise, the insole will not fit the shoe wheel. Add a new body, the insole then has a base thickness. The following steps are important. 
as they greatly influence the comfort of the insole. First, we need to construct the upper limit plane of the insole. After that, use the life section tool to help draw the top surface shape guidelines. Then, use the blue surface tool to construct the top foot pad surface with all the guidelines. Next step, we are going to construct the solid body. Extruding the real side of the insole base and using the split tool to cut out the top surface before adding rounds and chamfers. Finally, we got an insole that fits perfectly to the foot. As we can see, the arch and the curve of the foot are well preserved in this insole. The insole shape data now can be output for further manufacturing. Just open the STL file in the 3D printer software. Adjust the footprint to the right position. Click on Slice which will save the footprint slices and transfer them to the printer. Then let's look forward to the insole. Finally, we take the insole out of 3D printer. The newly printed insole has to be cleaned and cured. After all the work done, a customized insole is complete. Thank you for watching today's video and hope it's useful to you. If you like this video, remember to subscribe, like, and share it.